veteran Mike Emerson uses his trips to this Northern Virginia gun range to unwind. All I do is punch holes in the paper. Besides a handgun, Emerson also fires a semi-automatic assault weapon at the range. He says reinstating the assault weapons ban won't stop criminals from getting the gun. It will only keep it from people who obey the law. People who are responsible, like me, uh, will not be able to, uh, uh, to do what we like to do and what we do safely. President Obama is going over recommendations to curb gun violence with the Vice President today. As early as Wednesday, he could announce his proposals, but some are already meeting resistance here on Capitol Hill. Republicans led a reading of the Constitution on the House floor today. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Pro-gun lawmakers say an assault weapons ban will not pass Congress. President Obama says he will act on some ideas with or without Congress. There are some steps that we can take that don't require legislation uh, and that are, are within my authority as president. He's considering 19 different steps from beefing up federal data collection on criminals with guns to tougher penalties for gun trafficking. Many gun owners, like Mike Emerson, say they would support universal background checks. People who shouldn't be shooting guns shouldn't have access to them. Currently, weapons and ammo sold at gun shows and on the Internet can be purchased without a background check. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Washington. The push for stopping gun violence is showing up at the front door of the nation's largest retailer. Protesters are delivering a petition to Walmart demanding it stop selling semi-automatic weapons. The company said in late December it sells guns in roughly 1,800 of its 4,000 stores and it sells semi-automatic rifles in about 1,200 stores. All of our decisions are, are based on uh, you know what our customers want and uh, the law. And uh, of course, if the law were to change, um, you know we'd follow the law. One of our um, um, sayings at Walmart is, you know, the customer is number one. That's who we focus on. That's who we listen to. They guide our decisions. And Walmart representatives say after the Newtown shootings, company executives talked about the issue of firearm responsibility internally and with outside experts. And while we're on the subject.